Hey guys, what is up? It is Nuke and I'm back with another lesson. This is a super popular song by Vance Joy called Riptide. Uh, I really enjoy this song. Uh, it's four chords, A minor, C major, G major, and then uh, on the bridge he throws in an F major seven. As always, uh, like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, if it helped you learn the song. Uh, if there's anything I can improve on, comment below and I'll get right back to you. Uh, without further ado, let's get into it. First chord in Riptide by Vance Joy is an A minor chord. So you will play the second fret of the D string, which is the third string right here, um, which is an E. Then you will play the second fret of the G string, which is an A. Then you will play the first fret of the B string, which is a C. So all together, that's. A minor. Second chord in Riptide is a G major. You're going to use your middle finger on the third fret of the low E string, which is a G. You're going to use your index finger on the second fret of the A string, which is a B. And you're going to use your ring finger on the third fret of the E string, which is another G. So all together that makes G major. Third chord in this song is a C major. Uh, the C major chord will be your index finger on the third fret of the A string, which is a C. Then it will be your middle finger on the second fret of the D string, which is an E. And then it'll be your index finger on the first fret of the B string, which is another C. So all together, that's C major, and you don't want to pick this top low E string. You just want to strum from your ring finger down. Last chord in Riptide is an F major 7 chord, which is only used in the bridge. Um, and F major 7 chords are beautiful chords. I'll probably do a lesson on just those eventually. Um, so this part is when he says, I just wanna, I just wanna know if you're gonna, if you're gonna stay. And it's basically a string back from the C major that we just played. And you put your ring finger on the D string on the third fret, which is an F. You put your middle finger on the second fret of the G string, which is an A. You put your index finger on the first fret of the B, which is a C. Um, and then you strum it just like that. Um, but you start on the A string, which is the second, right before where your ring finger is. Hey guys, before I get into the bridge and the chorus, I strongly recommend you check out the link below. Uh, that is to ultimateguitartabs.com. I use this for a lot of the songs I learn and teach. Uh, and look up Vance Joy, Riptide, um, and see, see how the chorus transitions to the bridge to the pre-chorus, and that'll really help you with this next part of the lesson. All right guys, so a little bit of a different strumming pattern here. It's down, down, up, down, up. So the most typical strumming pattern is down, down, up, up, down, up. So when this strumming pattern here moves that first up, which creates a little space and creates a different rhythm. So he starts on the A minor, he does that once. Down, down, up, down, up. G major, down, down, up, down, up. Then he goes to the C major and he plays this twice. Down, down, up, down, up down, down, up, down, up. So that's the entire verse and chorus, which is the majority of the song. If that's all you learn, then I mean, nobody's really gonna notice besides when you skip the bridge, but it's not a big deal. But learning the bridge gives you that extra full length of the song. Um, so I'm gonna play just through the, the verse and the chorus pattern for you real quick. Um, so.
right, guys, I'm gonna play through that full speed just so you get a feel for it. All right, guys, so if you wanna learn the bridge to this song, it's real simple, he just plays this pattern twice. So he slows down the strumming pattern, and this is where you need to listen to the song and determine how much he slows it down or slow it down as much as you want or play at the same speed if you want. Um, but so it's A minor, G major, C major, F major seven. So instead of playing the C major twice, he just plays the F major seven and he just does the same strumming pattern at a slower pace. And uh, he does that through twice. And then he goes to the pre-chorus which is the same chords as the chorus, so you do the C major twice again, um, but he just strums it once at the beginning of the singing. So when, you, when you're thinking about the bridge and pre-chorus, um, he slows down the strumming pattern on the bridge, and that's kind of what a bridge is, but you just need to really get a feel for the transition there. Um, and you can start off playing at the same speed, no one will really even notice, or you can leave the bridge out altogether. But it is cool to throw that F major 7 chord in there with the bridge, because that's what makes people think you really know the song. Um, so yeah, like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you wish, but uh, that is Fans Joy, Riptide. Thank you for watching.